Even when hot and dry, Richard's grass kept growing. I put the grow pal out here last March. The grow pal balance. Grow pal balance, and I didn't, uh, I really couldn't tell any difference all through the spring and summer. And until about three months ago, and I could, um, I could tell a difference because this grass just got looking a lot worse and a lot thinner than this grass. And um, so that got us kind of excited because we could see a real difference in it. And this had had a, had nothing, and this all it, all it had was the group out balance. So okay. we were pretty impressed by it doing something. And late in the year, whenever the grass is usually going back, this was still coming. Okay. So you see more growth. You see, is it any thicker? A lot thicker. It's thicker. It was thicker. It was it was like you put cows in uh, when I first put them in here. It was like you put cows on fresh grass, and they'll trump it down because it's up. Mm -hmm. That's the way that was. The hmm. other was not that way. Okay. Uh, and they just stayed back here and ate on this. Uh, instead of coming on up there, the water troughs all the way to the other end of the pasture. Wow. But every time I come, there's back here laid up under those cedar trees. So they would come over here and feed and then go over there and drink. Right. If they went and drank, I didn't catch them over there. Oh. They stayed back here. <laughs> wow. And, uh, and uh, until way later. Okay. And like I say, we couldn't tell it all spring and summer. And I was real disappointed until about three months ago. You could really start, it really started, you could tell a difference. When the other grass went to going back, so it's Pensacola bear grass, northeast Florida, that's normal. July, it starts going back. This went to coming on, the rest went back, but this went to really grow it. Okay, all right. So right around in August, we started really seeing this thicken up and, and grow right. more, and the cows preferred it and ate it down. So it was from March to August. Right. So about five months, and then this really started coming on, and you started really seeing a difference. Yeah, it was visible. Okay. It was really, it was really visible. At that time, I got my brother to come over and look at it, just to make sure I wasn't seeing things, and <laughs> and uh, he got, he was impressed. That's we put the grow pal on last March. Uh huh. Put the grow pal balance. It comes up almost to his elbow. Yeah, and I um. Well, not up to the elbow, like but I said, yeah. A while ago, I was, I was um, well when you hold it up, it's already laid over. Yeah. Okay. Um, Put the grow pal balance on it, um, soil conditioner, and it, um, and all through the summer we couldn't tell anything until about August when the rest of the grass was going back. It's a uh, Pensacola hair, northeast Florida. We come out here and looked, and we could um, visibly see where we had quit putting it out on the pasture. And I'll show you some over there we didn't put it on, and it's not near the grass there. Plus, this doesn't have the broom sage, which tells us it doesn't need ni uh, lime. Plus, where there was some uh, spots of uh, dog fennel weed, they're not near the dog fennel here. There's a reason what we didn't put the grow pal on. Okay. This is the pasture where we didn't put the grow pal ballots, and you can see the the difference. The other oh, was, yeah. was like this. Wow. And this is, and there's a lot more dead here. Plus, there's a lot more weeds. As you can see, the little dog fennels that's growing back after it was mowed in July. And that over there uh, was choked out, we believe. Okay. Because the grass is so much thicker. Right. You want to pull out. a little bit out over here, too, and we put it side by side then. Wow, that's quite the difference. Plus, the cows were feeding over there, and they weren't feeding over here. Right. Yeah, this is not being messed with. Here. Wow. This is uh, the grass that was treated with the grow pal balance. And this was not. Okay. And that's the difference. It's a uh, Pensacola bear grass. Wow. That's quite a difference in root structure, um, too. That has a lot better rhizomes and everything in it. It's uh, roots. Wow. And this is typical of where we put the grow pal palance and where we didn't put it. Correct. Yeah, and this is Richard Fish in uh, Northeast Florida. Go to www.ag-usa.net or call us at 888 588-3139.